from Blind Melon. Good morning, it's 9.38. Weather for today is looking to be a nice day. Temps should be in the mid-60s. Join me and Dan and Kate in tonight's benefit at the Regatta Bar. No cover, just co One morning, Benjamin awoke from his first slumber in his new apartment to the smell of coffee. Mm, coffee. He was pleased by the surprise until he remembered. I live alone. Other than his goldfish, Poseidon, Benjamin did, in fact, live alone. So Benjamin mustered what little courage he could and ventured forth. Would you like some coffee? I already poured you a mug. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but your coffee pot wasn't unpacked yet, and I figured you might need something for your big interview today. <laughs> wait, wait just a second. Who or rather, what are you? Who do you think I am? Did Dylan put you up to this? Oh, yeah. What do you say? Let's have some dude dress up like a monster and come sit in old Benny Boy's kitchen? Uh -huh. Is that it? Oh no. No. No, no, no. Am, am I dead? Jeez, if, if I'm dead, then are you God? No. I, sh I should have listened to Graham more. Come on, Benny. Time for temple. I'm sorry for not visiting more. Uh, I guess you'll be seeing a lot more of me now. Oh, unless, unless I have to, to go. Mm. Wow. I am not God, and you are not dead. You don't recognize me at all? Honestly, I... I don't know. Wait a second. Is that my Kermit? <laughs> uh, all the things from under the bed. <laughs> I am Bogomil. My clients sometimes call me Bogey. I remember on your 10th birthday, uh, you wanted to have... Rosie as your girlfriend, and she said, no, <laughs> you ran upstairs and wouldn't come out of your room until we convinced her to go upstairs and give you a kiss and said she could hold your hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, remember a time you were learning how to ride a bicycle? Bogomil spent a good deal of the morning talking with Benjamin about the role he played during the young man's childhood telling him stories only someone living under the little boy's bed would know. After several of these tales, Benjamin was convinced that Bogomil was telling the truth. All right. You've convinced me. I mean, as bizarre as this is, like, who's ever heard of a grown-up with a, with a monster under his bed? <laughs> Lots of people have them. Uh, monsters, that is. We're here to help, uh, I think. Help you remember. And terrify people in the process? Hey, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> job. The interview! I gotta, I, I gotta get ready. Uh, hey, uh, don't, uh, ruin anything, all right? Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Benjamin had a lot to think about now. Not only did he have his own problems to worry about, he also had a monster to deal with. And of course, there was always Poseidon.
Benjamin supposed that's what one does when adulthood is reached. You have to take care of yourself and those around you, no matter what kind of monsters you're dealing with.